everyone and welcome to my 12 book boxes of Christmas. I am so excited for the next 12 days we are going to be unboxing a different book box and I am so excited to share this with you. I have been planning this for a couple of months now. I got some exciting news. I will be doing a giveaway every day of the 12 book boxes of Christmas. So you'll have to stick around and find out about that. I think we should kick the 12 days off of Christmas with something big with this one. I know there's three boxes here, but they're all related to the same book box subscription company. Let's get started. Day one of the 12 days of Christmas. Although there has been some debate on whether or not the 12 days of Christmas should end the day before Christmas or the day on Christmas. And mine's gonna end the day on Christmas. This is gonna be our very first book box subscription we're gonna do. So let's open it up. Our very first book box subscription will be LitJoy. So we have LitJoy's book box subscription, which is for a young adult. And then we also have LitJoy's magical subscription, Magical Ally. I think this is a brand new kind of subscription that they had. From what I've been able to tell, they've always had some kind of magical crate, but it looks like they've changed some things. So I don't really know what to expect out of that one. And this is actually the add-on that I ordered from my October LitJoy box that it didn't come in in time when I did my review. And I wanted you guys to be able to see the add-on I got because it was so pretty. So I'll share that with you as well today. And before we get into the information, over the next 12 days, we're going to be looking at a different book box subscription. There'll be six young adult book box subscriptions. And if you didn't already know, young adult books are geared more towards 14 years and plus. There are a lot of adults who love and even prefer to read the young adult book boxes. And then there are going to be six adult book boxes that we'll be looking at. So we'll have a good amount from both for whichever preference you have. And each day I will be doing a giveaway. And the giveaway will be open until January 10th on all 12 book box subscriptions. That way enough people will have a chance to see the videos and then have a chance to enter because not everybody's going to be, you know, on YouTube watching videos the week of Christmas because we're all with our families. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Lit Joy Crate is a young adult book box subscription. They have made changes to their company. They used to offer their young adult book box every single month and their magical crate once a quarter. But now in 2021, everything is going to quarterly. And the unique thing about that is they have their young adult book subscription, their magical collection box subscription, and they also are putting out classic books quarterly. Those, as far as I know, are not subscriptions. You have to log on there and you can sign up for just one specific book or you can sign up for their whole collection of classic books, which will arrive every three months. So the unique thing about it is that they have three different quarterly type boxes you could get, classic, young adult, magical, but they will all arrive in different months. If you sign up for all three, you will get a book box every single month. It just will be a different kind. And I have two of the kinds here to review today. Starting in 2021, the next young adult box is in February. The young adult box is $30.99 plus shipping. And I believe this is the November box. I do love that they have a decorated boxes. I love it whenever there's branding on the outside of the boxes. It's very professional, I guess. And this was the add-on for my October box, which you can find that in the description below if you haven't seen it. I think the theme was alchemy or something. It's actually been one of my most popular viewed book boxes, which leads me to believe that LitJoy is a very popular book box subscription. What I got was this candle and look at how beautiful this candle and it's in this really cool it's called an eggshell candle and look it's got like a little dragon scale on the top but I love that color blue love it it's one of my favorite shades ah I love that it's got like a little cork for the lid Ooh, it kind of smells like candy which I'm totally down for 
Okay, that's what the inside of it looks like. Cannot wait to burn this. <laughs> now let's get into the November box. I do remember being a little confused when I was reading their product card that they had for their book box. It was set up really differently compared to other product cards I'm used to seeing. Here we have the November box. The theme is Star-Crossed Lovers. Again, we have another thick booklet. Read me first. LitJoy Crate enhances the reading experience by picking each item in care. Every item is directly inspired by the book. This booklet explains how each item relates to the book. As you read the book, each item will reveal itself as meaningful, which is great. I mean, a lot of book boxes do that. They pick items that specifically go with the book. So when you're reading it, the items really help bring it to life. The way they have their stuff listed, however, it's not listed as a normal product card. It's like it has the title of something and then like a little paragraph about it. I did eventually figure it out. Oh, and it does look like they offer full crate book only or item only, which I'm starting to remember from my last unboxing. I think it's $20 if you want just the book and it's $20 if you want just the items. It's $31 if you want the book and the items. The first thing I'm seeing, towels, wraith your hands. And this one says, wash your dirty hands. I think maybe these are little towels for the kitchen. They've got some interesting designs on there. Pair of Thieves Dish Towel Set. Sometimes love is less about romance and more about loyalty and having each other's back. We see the sentiment portrayed through various relationships in Soul Swift. So I'm thinking Soul Swift is the name of the book. Next, I see a 250 piece puzzle. I like working on puzzles. My kids like to help me work on puzzles. I like the idea of getting a puzzle and a subscription box. I guess this must be the design of the puzzle. It says the Night Circus puzzle. Marco and Celia of the Night Circus find themselves fighting each other, made rivals by their mentors and the odds stacked against them. Rosie Thorns brings the magic to the atmosphere of the Night Circus to life in the stunning black, white, and red depiction of Marco and Celia. So I'm thinking that maybe they picked characters that were in other books that related to the characters and the love story that's going on in this month's book. What do we have next? This is interesting. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like it has a battery. Shadow Hunters Read by Witchlight. I mean, I've never seen that before. I don't know if there's a battery in it or not, but it's not turning on. That's interesting. Maybe you place it over your book and it gives light. That's really cool. If it works the way that it's supposed to, I do have to say, just feeling it, it does kind of feel a little cheap. That doesn't mean it won't work. I haven't tried it, and so I would have to try it to really be able to, to say if I thought it was a good product or not. But the concept of it is really cool and I'm really down with that. Okay, this it says it's a witch light book light. Shadow hunters read by witch light because light and illumination were such big themes and events in Soul Swift. We knew we had to add some light to this crate. And since basically every shadow hunter couple is star crossed in some way, but seriously, a witch light was in order. Marked with clarity, knowledge, voyance, and enlightenment ruins, Use this reading light to brighten your book pages. The little markings on the side here, they must mean clarity, knowledge, voyance, and enlightened ruins. I do remember they put their books in these cute little cases and they're reusable. You don't have to reuse them for books. Yes, the book is Soul Swift. I love that they did this. It was a totally different design, I think, for the last book. I wanna say it was brown, but that's thoughtful. And I haven't seen any other book box subscription add something like this. As far as I know, it's unique to LitJoy. Here's the book. It's called Soul Swift by Megan Bannon, author of The Bird and the Blade. It looks like a really long book. When she becomes the human vessel of an immortal spirit, a girl once silenced by faith will have the final say on humanity's fate. Is the soul inside her a goddess who will save the world? 
or a demon who will destroy it. I gotta say, when I saw a heads up to the theme for this box, I didn't know if I was really gonna like it, but so far, I think I like the variety of items that have gotten better than the October box. Next, I see what light through yonder window breaks. This is really pretty. It's a Romeo and Juliet wood ornament, and I'm so about to put this on my Christmas tree. Romeo and Juliet, the original star-crossed couple, shared a love that was so sweet and pure. We found this same type of pure devotion in the pages of Soul Swift and celebrate this classic couple on this year's Lit Joy Holiday ornament. Depicting the iconic balcony scene, this engraved cutout ornament can be hung anywhere you want. I loved Romeo and Juliet when I was in school. I'm gonna hang up this ornament. I'm so happy about it. And now it just makes me a little bit more enticed to read this book if they feel that the characters in here have a Romeo and Juliet feel. Let's see if we can get through the rest of the stuff before my battery runs out, because it is dying. I have a pen. I told you, I'm collecting pens apparently. I don't know what it is about pens and everybody wanting to give me one. One of these days I'm just gonna have a display of pins behind me. It's a pretty dragon print. It's the curse torments us all. It's a Lit Joy Crate exclusive. That's what it looks like. Sometimes love is in the last place you'd expect to find it. Between the unlikely couples and a curse that hangs over the land, we couldn't help but notice the similarities between Soul Swift and another one of the favorite young adult reads, A Curse So Dark and Lonely. It was a pretty pen. I haven't read the other book that it came from, so I don't know the depth of its significance. Uh, just some kind of sticker, I guess, that says, okay. <laughs> okay. This must be the book plate. And this is the photo strip from Ember in the Ashes. It says, you will spark and burn, ravage and destroy. You cannot change it. You cannot stop it. The one I got in my last month's box had uh, Vampire Diaries on it. And I was, I think it was one of the most exciting things I found in that box. Like I said, I don't know, I'm already enjoying this box better than, a little bit better than the October box. Oh. Okay, apparently the OK OK sticker was a sticker from The Fault in Our Stars. So I think this is what they call book play or something. I don't know. It's from the author. And on the back, she writes a note talking about the book. And she has her signature at the bottom. I do like the artwork that they chose. I thought that was a really cool artwork. I have to charge my camera, and then we'll get into the Magical Collection. The Magical Collection is also a quarterly box. It's $54.99 plus shipping. It does cost more than the book box. And I have to say, they did not offer much information on the website about what's to be expected inside these new Magical Crates. It just says each box will have a magical theme. They're marketing to people who like love magic and witches and wizards and you know that whole fantasy area it didn't say it was going to be like harry potter specific although this box does have harry and hagrid right right on the front but it doesn't mean that it's specific to harry potter with every single box i don't know if there's a book inside the magical crate that's what i was confused about i know there's one in the young adult book box but i don't know if there's a book in here it might just be 55 dollars worth of magical items i had no idea what to expect when i signed up for it so it'll be a brand new experience for me the theme for this this quarter was magical ally uh magical ally magical alley Wow. I do like that the outside of the box is decorated. It's great for branding. And then it's also great if you want to keep the box to store things in. It's a decorative box. Ooh, interesting. Let's start off with this. It says a Lit Joy Crate exclusive chocolate raspberry tea. Oh my gosh, it smells like raspberry. I've never heard of chocolate raspberry tea. First, right off the bat, we get some exclusive tea in these little tea bags. Steep for four minutes. I think that's cute, and it's something I can drink. So, already off to a good start. Here we have Weasley's Wizard Wheezes Staff. It looks like a button that you can wear. That's what it looks like. I don't know if that's necessarily something that I would use. So, not all that excited about that. Madame Primpernel's Plume Bloom Perfume. Based on the theme of Magical Alley, it has to be shops that are filmed on that alley. 
in Harry Potter is what I'm thinking. This is what the package looks like. It looks like this item is decorative and there's not actually any perfume inside. But the bottle is a really unique looking bottle. So as far as decorations go, I would, I would display this around my house. I think it's very pretty. Next, let's go with this bigger item. Fire, crabs, owls, cats, toads, rats, ravens. Magical Minagery. The best pet shop on, <laughs> in Diagon Alley. Not diagonally. Congratulations on your new pet. Take good care of it and keep a close eye on it at all times. What did I get? I don't know, he looks like a little toad. When I saw the color brown, I thought, okay, I got a rat. But I didn't. It's like this little toad stuffed animal. I think that it's a cute idea to gift something like this. I just don't know about, it's not a very practical use. You know, it's probably gonna be like another display or decorative item. I don't know, I don't really like to have too many things like that. Ooh, I do like these. These are pins, so it's surprising I like pins. One says Diagon Alley and the other says Nocturne Alley. It's a Lit Joy Crate exclusive. I do like these pens. I like the pens more than I like the button. It looks like we have Ali Vonder's Makers of Find Wands since 382 BC. So we have a wand. If you saw my Harry Potter Year One unboxing with Magical Read Crates, you'll know that I like just received Harry's wand. I do think that the case this one is in is probably a much nicer case than the wand my other one came in, but we'll have to see how the wands compare. This is a nice wand. I don't know if this wand is specific to anybody in particular. I'll have to wait and see if there's a product card in there. It's heavy, just like the other wand was. And it's got these nice, colored what is that like an amber colored jewel at the top that's a pretty cool wand it does feel like a good quality wand which is important when you're paying 55 dollars for a box i'm a terrible harry potter fan for not knowing all these words what is this i don't know that was the packaging on that is it going to be making a um like a weather vane is that what this is maybe you have to put it together i'm hoping there's a product card in here to explain some of these items no book in this box it is just magical items in here so this crate is very specific to anyone who loves harry potter or magical themed items or you know that kind of stuff and you like to collect it i think you have to be more of a collector to like these types of boxes otherwise i mean it would just be a waste of your money it's definitely a cute gift to give to a kid or a loved one or a friend who's really into harry potter or, or magical items i think that's the key you know this box is not for everybody i love magical items so i love the idea of getting fandom type merchandise i don't always love getting decorative pieces that I'll never be able to use. Uh, that part I'm not so crazy about, but I do appreciate, you know, having a fandom type box. There's a nice little green bag that was in there. I wanted to see what was in it. Oh, it's a coin. But it falls along the line of decorative or collectible item. Lit Joy Wand Shop, Wand Properties, it's cedar wood with a dragon heartstring core, 9.72 inches, unyielding. So that talked about the wand. I do love this piece of art. That's pretty. And that's frameable. So it's something that can be used. Aww. I got this cute bookmark with Hagrid and Harry. <laughs> If you don't know, Hagrid is the person who took Harry to Diagon Alley for the first time in the very first book slash movie, if you haven't read the books, which I actually have not read all of the books. I was just telling my husband that I need to actually get the physical books and read them, but that's cute. I've got a bookmark collection going on. I now have a pin collection going on. Instructions for the, what? Oh, it's like a candle holder. And here's the instructions on how to put it together and what it would look like, candle not included. I personally feel like it would have been better if they had included a small candle. I mean, when you're paying $55 for a box, I mean, throw in a candle. That's just my personal feels. And then it says, welcome to Diagon Alley. Aww. So it has a picture of what Diagon Alley looks like and it has labels next to all of the businesses that are on Diagon Alley. That's helpful. 
Oh, okay. And then on the back, on the back it has like little advertisements for Diagon Alley. That's really cool. Oh, it even has the leaky cauldron on here where you get your butter beer. <laughs> So this must be like their product card because it talks about all of the items that you received in this box, including the bookmark. This really helps make things make more sense. I guess as a recap, since we've come to the end of the box, we have our Florian Ice Cream Parlor Tea, the theme art print, collectible spell coin. Oh, it's called a candle carousel. That's the name of that. Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley enamel pin set which that was here, the pet. Hagrid and Harry photo strip, which it makes sense that it's in a photo strip form because that's how Lit Joy seems to send out their bookmark. The beautifying potions perfume, and then the wand. The magical collection for January, the theme is called The Burrows. Talks about how it's gonna be centered around the Weasleys. I can't remember if I like pre-signed up for an extended period of time for this box or not. I don't know if it's a box I'll continue to get on a regular basis. Is the box worth $55? I think it's based on personal preference, honestly. It's not gonna be worth it to you. If you don't like magical items and if you don't like Harry Potter, it's almost not even worth it for me because while I love Harry Potter, I prefer to receive more practical items, which I'm okay with decorative items as long as there's not too many. I don't want just a bunch of stuff that's just gonna sit on the shelves, if you know what I mean. They don't have prices on here, so whether or not you actually get your value back, I don't know. I would say you probably do get your value considering, just considering the quality of some of the items that I'm seeing here. You can tell that they weren't like really cheaply made. That concludes our day one of 12 book boxes of Christmas. For the 12 days of Christmas, I've decided to be incredibly generous. And with each book box subscription that I review, I'm going to be gifting one to you. If you want a chance to win a Lit Joy book box, uh, it'll just be a one-time book box. It'll be like a gift box. The competition runs through January 10th. And after January 10th, I'll start contacting the winners. Through corresponding of email, we'll go over which book box you might hope to get, whether it's a past box or the current box. It really just depends on whether or not they have back, uh, past boxes for sale and also whether or not they have any availabilities. If I'm not a current subscriber to that book box, then I might have to wait for a wait list before I can gift a box. So I'll be in contact with those who win. In order to be entered into the giveaway, you have to first be subscribed to my channel. And if you already are subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you could share my video on a social media platform. That part is not a requirement. Being subscribed is a requirement, but it would just mean so much to me if you could share my videos or share them with friends and family. I was really hoping to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I don't know if it'll happen. I was really hoping to, to have 100 subscribers by the end of this year and hopefully to have my 1,000 subscribers by the end of next year. If you didn't already know, new YouTubers can't start earning money until they have 1,000 subscribers. It's so hard for new YouTubers to get started and getting those first 1,000 subscribers can seem like a really long time. And so I know that that's like a long journey off, but for now, the 100 subscribers would be like, that's just such an accomplishment. Plus, I'll be doing a 100 subscriber giveaway if I do reach my 100 subscribers. So yeah, so make sure that you're subscribed. Share my video if you can. You do have to be 18 years of older and it is only open for those in the United States. And then also only open in the United States whose states allow for you to enter into giveaways. Because apparently there are a couple of states where you're not really supposed to to get free stuff. I just think that's so silly. YouTube is not affiliated with any of my giveaways that I'm going to be doing. All of the instructions will be in my description box below. So be sure to check those out in case in case you forget, you can always come back and look at it. And then you need to message in the comments that you wanna be entered into the giveaway. And then I would also like your opinion on whether or not you liked the Lit Joy Young Adult Subscription Box or the Magical Collection Box. Which one did you like better? I almost forgot. <laughs> when I first started this YouTube channel, I was originally going to be doing unboxing as well as like cooking slash baking, but I decided to go ahead and split that up into two different channels. So if you want, you can head over to my 
food channel where I'm doing 12 sweet treats of Christmas. I'm not doing any giveaways on that one because it's a brand new channel. Like it, this is my very first video to post for it. Wow, I'm just rambling. This is gonna be like a 30 minute video. And I will be back tomorrow for day two and we will unbox a new book box and have a new giveaway. Thank you for stopping by. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed. I will see you guys next time. Bye.